The perhaps the biggest revelation that got widespread attention outside of the political media was this small part of the book where it said that Glenn Rice, the former great basketball player for the University of Michigan, slept with uh, Sarah Palin. The New York Times, in their review, had a problem with that reporting. They said Mr. McGinnis eggs Glenn Rice on with the kind of flagrantly leading question he seems to have habitually asked in Mr. Rice's case. So you never had any feeling she felt bad about having sex with a black guy, but. What the New York Times review perhaps doesn't get into is, was that the only question where you confirmed that Glenn Rice had slept with Sarah Palin? Did he confirm it apart from his answer to that question? Yes, it's been confirmed. In fact, uh, Glenn just got a copy of the book. Uh, He called me, um, what, today's Monday. He called on Saturday and uh, said it's, uh, he read the parts about him. He said, it's good. It's all good. And uh, there, see, there was never any question about this. The, the story that I heard is interesting because this is what led to this. I don't, you know, the fact that it turned out to be Glenn Rice. Well, you know, I had no way of knowing that Sarah had slept with a guy who later got to be famous. The story I heard was, you know, she, the, racism is some is a strong undercurrent uh, throughout her career. There's been um, overtly and covertly uh, a racist tinge to uh, to her appeal. When she became governor, one of the first acts uh, of her administration was to fire a couple of dozen low- and mid-level state employees simply because they were black. And she said to her chief of staff, these people make me uncomfortable. Her father actually remembers when she dropped out of the University of Hawaii at Hilo after only three weeks. He said, her own father said, uh, it was kind of a minority thing and Sarah wasn't comfortable. There's always been this discomfort around people of color. How in the world then does she find herself in bed with a black man? And did her having, was that a bad experience did she have a bad reaction afterwards? The first story that I heard from a number of people was that it was the way she freaked out afterwards. It was not a big event, but then afterwards for days she was going around saying, oh, my God, I can't believe I did that. I feel so this is awful. She was hysterical about this. So <clears throat> I wanted to find out who the man was because I just don't want to print that unless mm-hmm. I can get find out the other half, you know. Uh, and for months and months and months I tried to uh, – find the identity of who this might have been. It's a long story, which I'm uh, some of it I can't uh, talk about because it involves confidential sources. But uh, in the end, I found out that it was Glenn Rice. So I got in touch with Glenn, and I said, do you, how do you remember this? Because I'm told that, after, that Sarah had a bad reaction, that she couldn't believe she'd had sex with a black man. You know, do you recall this as having been? He said, no, 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 no. That... Nothing like that. He said it was all good. Uh, in fact, we stayed in touch by phone for months afterward. He said I had kind of a, a crush on her. And, uh, oh, there was no, whoever told you that, that's just flat out wrong. He, Glenn Rice is a very classy guy, and he was never going to, you know, he would never have talked about this if I hadn't asked him the particular question. Did she freak out afterwards because she'd had sex with a black man? And he laughed, and he said, uh, not unless it was somebody else, because not with me. You know, we had a we had a really fine time, and I remember it fondly. I still do. He thinks very highly of Sarah, and he's made that very clear. Reviewers, people who have read the book, have questioned why is that anecdote even in the book? You just explained why. And then they said, you know, would this have been written about a male candidate? Would it have been news that they had a sexual liaison while not married? Well, and if a male candidate had a sexual liaison with Glenn Rice, I certainly <laughs> think it would have been news. <laughs> if Glenn confirmed it, yeah. Although, you know... Okay, so that story does a couple things. I think it probably, one of the criticisms of the book is this is all scurrilous innuendo and it's uh, unconfirmed. Well, at least that was Glenn Rice confirming it, so that's your credit. Actually, there isn't any innuendo. There's a little innuendo. Innuendo is hints. Mm -hmm. These are not hints. People tell me things and I wrote them down.